It is not even February for 2021 yet. And we have already gotten three cases within the year. Case A, which was including the newest cars, Floyd Morgan and the track damage, Rusty's Cruise. Case B, including Will Rush and the Racing Red Mater. And now we have KC with Caleb Worley, Easy Idle Tractor, and Hot Rod River Scott. Yep, I have Hot Rod River Scott to show here. You'll see him in another review, guys. Don't worry. And soon I will review the Easy Idle Racing Tractor, which is going to be exciting for some of you guys. Oh, if I can pull my camera inward. Yeah, I'm using my other iPhone for this because my other iPhone just doesn't... And because my usual iPhone doesn't have enough storage on it. So we're just going to make do with what we've got for now. So, like I said, he is in 2021 singles case C. He could be released again sometime down the road, or maybe he is in case D and we just don't even know it yet. As like a repeat or something. Maybe Hot Rod River Scott's in there as well. But we'll just have to wait and see once the full series, I mean, once the full contents of Case D come out. Yep. Alright, they are new for 2021. He looks black on the card art, but not on the die cast, which is weird enough. Let's see. On the back, you get Fillmore. Well, actually, it's the pit crew member version of Fillmore. Why'd they put him in the Cars 3 series? I don't know. Donico Cruz. Snorefest. Mattel. Snorefest. Right there. Kathy Copter. She wasn't even seen in Cars 3. Only in Cars 1. Weirdly enough, right? Taco. A re-release, but in a Thailand variant, along with Jimbo and Pile Up. And here comes the exciting one, folks. J.D. McPillar. He was previously released, yes, first in the Next Gen 4 pack. And has see, received several releases. And is now just being released in Thailand. So, guys... Just give me a moment to open this guy up and we're gonna compare him to another car. Or should I say other cars that are, well, let's just say one's gonna be very similar. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think you know who I'm talking about in the background. Ha <laughs> ha mm. ha. this out hopefully no damage done we're just gonna save it right here because I want to compare the card art to the die cast my leg but we're not gonna save the plastic of course zoom down on mr. Whirly here uh. and as you can see right off the bat he is 100% gray. Well, not really 100% gray. Some white. And the card art here is black. I think the black here is accurate to the movie. So, Mattel, please accuratize Caleb Worley. I think it's the first card you inaccuratized. That was for the 2021 mainline. Seriously, Mattel? Really? Oh well, I guess we'll start off with the review. 
on the front, you get the grill, of course, along with the headlights. He's nice and smiling. Got the green eyes or the emerald eyes. The front bumper here. And you got the little straps to hold down the hood for. Like I said in my past reviews, it kind of reminds me of like football players. How they like have a helmet on to protect them from getting hit by people. And no, I'm not really much of a fan of football. Sorry, I don't know much about sports. Because I'm not really a fan of them. Anyways, you get a light gray trim on here. Or should I see a bit of a dark gray trim. I think that's the air vent to the vehicle. King Bowling Alley. That is really neat right there. They're coming up with fan-made fictional sponsors for these retro 1950s racers. Like, we have Eli Turnpike here, who was released last year. If you'd like to see my review of him along with the Heyday Junior Moon, I recommend you do so after this one. Faster's Garage, Tune-Up, Brakes, Belts, Lube Oil. Fits right, brake pads, you know, stuff like that. St. Joseph, Tennessee. Don't know where that is in Tennessee. Probably a fictional part. Although, unfortunately, no, he has not received a Thomasville tribute release to the Cars 3 cars in the over there. Yep, right there, King Bowling Alley, one wind view mirror, wind view mirror, revolting, the Dynaco oil gasoline. Caleb Worley, one of the last 1950s retro racers to be released. Number three, it's like the huge dot rushing towards, I mean, or the three rushing with the dot towards the front over here. Like it's going past, like this. Like that. Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I actually live not far from there. Fun fact. So if you see me around there, sometimes looking for diecast, I recommend you do so. I recommend you do check out those stores nearby there. I mean... Darn, I just gave away my information. Not really, but oh well. All good auto parts. All parts are good. I mean, all parts all good. Oh, I thought it said all good there. Again, the dark gray trim. The back with the three here. Number three. The dashes and the red dot. The huge red dot. C06-3456. What is that? It's a lowercase n. But 634, no. There are only 30 or 31 days in a month. 28 or 29 in February, usually. That's besides the point. There are only 30 days in June, not 34, Mattel. Ah. Even the white strip along here is good. But seriously, Mattel, who has a birthday on the 34th of June? Precisely no one. Oh well, we're just gonna carry on, regardless. Winston Salem NC again. Been around there several times. All good auto parts, all parts, all good. Caleb Worley. I'm pretty proud that they're making racers of my home state, North Carolina. I think it's really spectacular. 
Let's continue on, shall we? And stop getting off track. Caleb Worley, all good auto parts, all good. I mean, all parts, all good. Dynaco Gasoline, Revolting King Bowling Alley. Would love to meet the King Bowling Alley guy. Got the number three on the top there. Dashing across with the red dot. Bit of a dark grayish color. Got the smile, of course. N42A, made in Thailand, not China. The back rivet here is in dark gray. The front rivet here is in chrome, like usual. And yes, this is the first repaint we've done. And Mr. Worley, stop this. We also got Floyd Morgan up the back here. Which, yes, they are actually repaints. The first repaint of a 1950s racer that Mattel has done. At first, I thought it was going to be like either Eli Turnpike or Slim Hood or one of those guys. But never one of these. I would have never expected it. He's got Jen's Diner. I wouldn't necessarily call it... Um... I wouldn't necessarily say that Mattel's cheapening out and all. Oh yeah, this is another open wheel car. Sally will be impressed. His birthday is on the 8th of January. 34th of June. Even though that's not a real day, Mattel! Ugh, God. Pilot Mountain in C is his place. Which Caleb is not far from, as a matter of fact. Because I know where some of the places are. 4A, 3, because I live in North Carolina, of course. That's all I'm going to say. Thorson Trucking Co., Jen's Diner. How weird, he was made in on, on a 34th league... I mean, sorry, the 34th week of last year. And Caleb Worley was made on the 42nd day of last year. You may think that, oh, Duke Coulter's is similar as well. But no, not really. As you can see, he doesn't have any headlights. The grills are a bit different. The tires, of course, are one of the differences, most of all. And he has the... Little, um, wheel wells right here. I think that's what they're called. And again, you're probably thinking, Oh, Shifty! River's similar as well! Compare them, shall you? Alright, alright. Whoa! Caleb Worley, never do that again. I think he's got... Not sure what kind of tires they are, honestly. MC and C me. We almost got a full 1950s family. So let's bring up the whole gang that I've got off beside me here. I mean, along with me here. We got, of course, River Scott, Junior Moon, Collector Card. Floyd Morgan. Move these guys over here. Slim Hood. Another collector card. Floyd Morgan. And Eli Turnpike. Oh my god, I just said this guy was Floyd Morgan. It's Duke Coulters. Oh my god. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Let me know which is your favorite 19... I mean, let me know which is your favorite of the Floyd Morgan model. Either Floyd Morgan or Caleb Worley. I don't know, honestly. But I'd love to hear you guys' opinions of which model you prefer down in the comments. 
So I'll see you guys in the next video, which is most likely going to be the Easy Idle Tractor. So I'll see you then on Friday. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace. Oh, the screeching sound is going to kill everyone's ears. Oh, come on, River. You're more sensible than that.